Thanks for listening to episode 146. 146? 146 of the Just OK Gamers podcast. My name is Guido, and I'm here with... Wally. Millpool. Yo, 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 what's up? It's Nasty. And this week we have a super special guest. It is a game developer extraordinaire. Hundreds of titles under her belt. Coding genius. Uh, people come to her for for questions and she oh, yeah, holds, all court, kinds. holds court in the Microsoft building. She t- I mean, taught Bill Gates how to we code. We don't use everything. the word genius often. Yeah. We don't. <laughs> in in this case, <laughs> especially not with us. I but. think it applies. Yeah. The wonderful Sheena is with us, aka Psycho Billy. Let's see how this What's goes. What's up? What's up, guys? We're just okay, and we play some games. We're just okay gamers. I hate this. I hate this already. You know, I gave I you a cue to come in. I said, when the music plays, you I talk. Was like, I was like, I'm not doing this. I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this Well, today. that's how you got to be such a famed uh, developer. Is you play Shut by up. your own rules? Why do you rules. talk like that? Is it true that you taught Bill Gates? Everything yeah, he knows. everything he knows. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I yeah, we went think. to we went to high school together, actually. Oh, oh. wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're a lot older Sweet. than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you aged well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. So uh, here we are. Sheena's with us. Would you prefer us to call you Sheena or Billy or Psycho Billy? You guys call me Sheena. It's fine. Um, Sheena's here. She's uh, one of the, what would you say, lead developers of uh, I No, I would, I would just say developer. Yeah, just a developer kind of thing. Because there's only like me and one other person doing literally everything to make a game, so. Yeah, but you're, well, that's like, you know, someone has to call the shots, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I just want to point out that Nasty lost his shit the entire time you were giving me that really lame intro, and I'm just making stupid-ass faces at you guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, hey. Uh, Sheena helped create the game Spooky's Jump, uh, House of Jump Scares. That's it, right? How are you going to invite me to your show and not b- uh, say my fucking <laughs> name, game name right? Like, I'm, fucking, I'm done. I'm done. Spooky's, I'm out of here. I'm Spooky's done. Jump I'm Scare leaving. House of I'm Terror. Gone. I'm leaving. <laughs> Spooky's so are the houses house. scared? Yeah. Or... No, the, hu- the houses jump, jump out. out. Understand. The house okay. is self scared. Yeah. No, the it's house, the house. So the yeah, the house is the thing. You? Yeah, the house is what jumps out at you. It's the entire house, and then they throw they throw like mortgage papers at you, and you're just like, oh, oh that's shit, so scary. mortgage. Oh, that's so scary. Uh, that's that means you're growing up. Oh no, it's no scary. One wants to do that. <laughs> yeah. The game's a metaphor yeah. about the coming of age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. It throws babies <laughs> and uh, car payments and what else? Marriage. What else are people yep. afraid of as they grow up? Uh, life Wait, insurance. People get married still? Yeah. Life Health insurance. Health insurance. Yeah. Dying. Doctors. Yeah, Obamacare. You know. Oof, don't Obama. Get me started on Barack Hussein Obamacare here. <laughs> hey, Guido, how do you feel about Barack Hussein oh, Obamacare? I said, oh, no. You just got me started. Here we go. Rev up the engine. I'm pulling it's the room, cord. Room. We are at it. Let me tell you a thing about Barack Hussein Obamacare. He is the president of the United States. That's right, he is. folks. Yep. And some people think he's not doing a good job. Well, maybe I agree with him. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Do you guys know? <laughs> <laughs> Strong words. Strong words. Uh. Yep, I like it. It was it was very. Uh, That's a I feel good like bit. you should be in the debate Polarizing that's going really. on tonight, right? There's a debate I think going Republican on tonight. You, debate. Yeah, you should have been there and <laughs> yeah. reporting live for CBS or Fox and CNN all at once. Just utter indifference to. Yep. And ignorance to every but, fact yeah. going getting thrown around. That's that is pretty a, much it is the Republican debate. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh. Anyways, Spooky's House of Jump Scares uh, is on Steam. It's free. It is a good game. I played it. I got... Uh, I kept dying. I made it, like, a good 250, 300. How did you die? I don't know. Guys were chasing me <laughs> Are you stuff. just, like, bad at games? <laughs> That's why we're just okay. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I get it now. That's a good bit. I get yeah. It. <laughs> 
a very good bit. I'm glad we mediocre at best. Um, but uh, yeah, everybody should give give it a try. It's free on Steam, so you're dumb if you don't. Even if you don't like scary games, you can get past the first hundred levels without too much of a problem, right? Is that fair to say? Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. No, that's absolutely fair. It's it's kind of like the further you go into the game, the more weird and messed up that it gets. Mm-hmm. Kind of so just like even the the entire like environment changes around you and things like that too. It's just it's kind of gross. Yeah, a lot of ambiance, a lot of uh, little notes left behind. Uh, yeah, a lot of and a lot of video game references. Yes, a yes. lot, a lot, quite a bit. Um, so everybody should go try that. Are you working on anything else right now? Can, that you can Actually, speak uh, I mean, I can say what I want, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, ain't I no one the boss of me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, ain't, ain't ain't no boss, publishers, son. bitch. That's why you're yeah, the lead developer. Ah, yeah. so actually, um, so actually, you guys are gonna be the first to know this. So congratulations, this is my oh, first just announcement. Okay exclusive. For, yeah, exclusive. just okay, exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh-huh. So the thing is, is so I worked on I worked on Spookies with the other developer of Spookies, and he goes by the online handle of Akuma Kira, and actually he has personal things in life that he needs to take care of. So Spookies is no longer we're done we're done with Spookies after that DLC that we released we're completely done with it, and actually I'm working on um, a horror RPG <gasps> with Ooh. yes it's kind of like uh, kind of like Corpse Party. Kind of like Ib and Corpse Party and uh, uh, just kind of games like that. Um, it's going to be like a like a 2D, uh, just like I said, just the horror RPG is all I can say right now. Um, but it is going to take place where I guess, well, like I said, I can say what I want. And so what I guess I'll say is that the f- some of the first scenes that you see in the game are of somebody dying. And so what you have to do is you have to replay that entire dying person's life. And choose what happens to them to get the different results of oh. what happened to you, which uh. is pretty insane. So that so basically, what I'm saying is, it's like psychological horror, and it's pretty cool. It's um, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, and so I'm no longer going to be working under Lag Studios either because that was the other developer's studio, not mine. Okay. And actually, I'm going to be opening up my own game studio uh, here pretty soon. I'm filing paperwork and stuff like that, and it's going to be pretty cool. Oh, so, so can, you, can you tell us the name? Is the name uh, a secret? Or? So no, the name's not a secret. It's the cutest name in in goddamn existence. If I tell you what it stands for, but it's basically Albino Moose Games is Aww. what the game studio is called. It's super cute. Okay. And we're making really <laughs> scary games, so it works. Right. It's it's like I don't know. We're gonna deceive you, I guess. It'll be fine. I like scary games. What's your favorite? Scary, scary games game? are fun. My favorite scary game of all time probably has to be Eternal Darkness for the GameCube. Oh, God, classic. Yeah, or that one, or Clock Tower, because those are pretty cool. Another classic. Yeah. Classics all around. Um, so, Sheena's also here, because we are technically a League of Legends podcast. And uh-huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> And Sheena is, uh, I'd, some would say a savant in the League of Legends world. <laughs> Wait, could, that, you could say that, I guess. <laughs> is she called her like Rain Man for League of Legends? Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. It's like that scene in A Beautiful Mind. You watch her play and she's just like, there's numbers flying past her. <laughs> Deathfire grass is getting thrown around. It's, cra- it's crazy. It's weird. So crazy! It's so weird. I don't. I don't even know. I have no, no words. But a game developer that uh, is pretty uh, into League of Legends. That's very cool, right? I mean, you could say that. I mean, I'm... how I find time to play League of Legends when I'm making video games is I have no idea. Yeah. I, I but no I, I make time for it. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought she'd be a great guest to kind of uh, also fill in some of the gaps for when we talk about League. Instead of, like, Nels Anderson, who, who insisted that we don't <laughs> hey, talk about League of Legends. <laughs> That's a bit, name drop, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Hey, that was so, two uh, and a half years ago. I don't so, think that we really need to worry that much. So, Sheena, it. can we count on you to fill our gaps? I mean, I'll fill all your gaps, baby. But, Whoa. yeah, absolutely. Nice. Um, uh, nice. What, uh, what have you guys done this week? Anything fun? Real quick. Mm. Let's, get through, let's get through our weeks. 
Improv work, and what did I do this weekend? We had the Patreon game night. Oh, yeah. That's all I did this weekend was just yeah. play video games yeah, for once. Highlight. Patreon game night was fun. We played uh, we played some League. We played some uh, Rocket League. Yeah, that was my first time playing Rocket League. Town of Salem and mm -hmm. some Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I um I actually beat The Witcher three over the weekend. Oh, oh nice! Congrats. That's a lot of and, hours. Yeah, and it was. I take back everything. All the skepticism and all the kind of. It's it was. It deserves to be the game of the year for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So you're retroactively going back and changing. You well, can't do that. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm not. He's putting words in my mouth. You I'm, can't I, do that, Wally. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying I'm wrong. So what you're telling me is The <laughs> Witcher is the greatest game of all time. <laughs> Oh shit! Um, the Witcher, or the first one. Yeah, the very first Witcher. Yeah, the, the very, very first, first. the shittiest one. <laughs> yeah, greatest game. <laughs> uh, I caught a cold this week, so Ooh, that was fun. Ouch. Mm -hmm. no Gross. Cold. Yeah, yeah it's like just started to hit me right before the podcast. Gross. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't think I can infect you guys over Skype. So you I'm sure you can. I think you gross. can. No, I think you can. I don't. Mill, can you just That's back up a little bit? Yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah, thank you. I'll just I'll keep my mouth. Yeah, cover through. your mouth too. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, much better. Like that. Nailed it. Show. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you guys say? We get on to some uh, League of Legends, huh? Let's do it. All right. With so much heat in the podcast scene, it's kind of hard being a JOKG, but never go for Timo here to save the day. But don't some hardcore cash away. So what? All right. Way to go, Nasty. Thanks. And our stream was just been taken down off of Twitch for copyright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, actually, we'll beat that one. Uh, I didn't think about that. I think anything less than 30 seconds, you're fine. Okay. Because you're sampling at that point. You're not. There is a, yeah, there's a time interval threshold you have to cross. Yeah. So, um, so League of Legends is a thing we all play. It's a very fun. What's that game? game. Yeah, I don't know. It's is a new it game we picked up recently. Is it very fun? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna call it very fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Is that very fun? Uh, so, yeah, patch six point two has been nasty. Yes. Nasty. Nasty, do you guys I think I might actually get all of these. Yeah? It was an easy yeah. one for you? Yeah, it's uh, only 17 lines on this one with one space. Holy moly. I don't believe yeah. you. I don't think you're It was just bug it. fixes. It was a lot of bug fixes. That was pretty much it. So, Sheena, what we do right now is whenever there's a patch, Nasty has to say all the patch notes in 60 seconds or less. Or at least summarize them. Um, and what happens if he doesn't? Oh, we kill horrible. him, huh? We kill him. Yeah, yeah, we kill him, right? Happens. Yeah. Yep. I think I'm on iteration body number 70. Cause... No, that's <laughs> Don't really... mention the iterations. Billpool doesn't know still. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, uh, what? I forgot. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think he's on uh, to us. We gotta kill him. Uh, yep, okay. activate yep. protocol. Uh, that was easy. All right. God yeah. damn it, Nasty. It's been weeks since we've had to do that. <laughs> I know. Sorry. It's getting easier with every time that I kill him. In fact, I'm, I yeah. think I'm starting to like it. Yeah. That's oh, are good. you? Yeah, a little bit. This is how to make a serial killer? Uh, very well could be. <laughs> it's a new series we're working on. Right. Now let's get a Next new one in here. Yep. All right. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> what <the> fuck? <laughs> What's up, Mel? How you doing? I'm Mel Mopal. What's up, Mel? How are you guys? Ah. Doing good. Doing good. Oh, oh you didn't like that one either? <laughs> I like I like He's it. He's so now. young. It just feels good. Here, does it, do any of you want to try it? Yeah, sure. All right, here. Let's get a new one in here. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, hey. what's up, Mel? Oh, what's that gun? Oh wow, that feels oh, great. Wow, doesn't it? Like two words that time. Yeah, I love <laughs> killing Millpool. Oh man. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, we can't do any more. Okay, yeah, no more, no more. It's a lot of bodies piled up. Yeah. 
Wally, can you take care of these? Yeah, you know what I do. <laughs> yeah. 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 They start ahead. having defects after a while. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Uh, while you're off, I'll get a new one in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Millpool. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey, what's, hey, up? what's up? What's up? Uh, not much. We're just in the middle of a podcast, as you know, because you've been here the Where's whole Wally? time and alive. Oh, don't worry. Uh, He's coming back he, soon. He wants to go grab a beer. Yeah. And eat your corpse. Oh. I mean, yeah. oh, what? Wash his hands. Yeah. Shut up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, patch 6.2. Nasty. <laughs> League of Legends podcast. <laughs> Nasty, you got to do these patch notes. Let's play your stupid song here. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Baron, mark, set, shoot, fire on. It's time. For nasty sixty sex berry. <laughs> oh jeez. All right, nasty. On your mark. Get set. Go. Uh, dynamic he was fixed and is now uh, working. Jin has been released. Uh, Shen got reworked. So go check out the videos on them because that's way too much to talk about. Mundo's E does less damage early on, but is all, has a longer cooldown early as well. Elisa's move speed is down slightly, and her W does less damage overall. Fiora's passive is now more predictable. Top right to bottom left. GP's alt has a 20, 20 second longer cooldown overall. Karma's W costs less mana. Kindred's Q costs more mana. And her E does less base AD, but still the same percentage uh, damage. Nunu's Snowball got a lot of changes, so go look at that. Literally like everything, slow mana, damage, everything. Uh, Rengar's Q scale is less off of AD, but the buff is now greater. And his E cast time uh, has a cast time when jumping. And his alt has a longer range indicator. Tom's passive is shorter and his alt ratio is down 2%. Frost Queens has a, short, a longer cooldown. Nomicon, Athene's Dark Seal are cheaper and Cole gives more AD and more gold when you finish it out. Oh, Boom. wow. You did that it. That was the a... longest minute. <laughs> it feels really long, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. That felt really it's long. So, yeah. It's so boring. Yeah, it's horribly boring. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> That's why we uh, do it in 60 seconds, because patches <laughs> yeah. are boring as fuck. Remember when we used to spend, like, 20 An hours <laughs> bullshit? Oh, like, my God, yeah. A patch would come out, and that's all we would talk about. It was about. so bad. Yeah, what were we thinking? I don't, know. I don't know. We were really into the game at that point and thought that we knew what we were talking about, and then we were smarter. Well, I think we were also had a bit more engagement and energy for the game, too. Not that we don't at all, but we had more then, maybe. Right. No, I like talking about the patch, but it is boring. Um, everybody can pick one thing if they want that they want to talk about. Uh, the thing that I kind of am a little bummed about is Poppy got a slight little nerf to her passive. Um, oh, it, mm. it's not huge. But it was a bug fix more than anything. Yeah, mm, it doesn't yeah. boomerang anymore, which is pretty big, especially for top lane Poppy. You know, the sh- you'd hit, you'd kill a well, creep with the shield. And it no, it's down. still boomerangs on kill. But oh, if it, it dies before, yeah, if it dies mid air, it won't boomerang oh, back. Oh, I see. So like, if you fuck up last hitting that minion, then it won't boomerang back oh, to you. So well, really it's really a bug shit. fix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's the only thing. Rengar is pretty big, right? They kind of nerfed. Uh, him. I don't know. I just finally started learning how to play against him. So. Oh. Well, at least now you don't have to learn so hard, right? Right. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is Frost Queens has a 30 second longer cooldown. Before it was 60 seconds and now it's 90 seconds. So that's kind of huge. Yeah. Another 30 seconds on that. They were getting Yeah, there's spammed. no spamming it. Yeah, it was yeah crazy. that's the thing. It was crazy. Um, yeah. Right? That's about it. That's about it. I don't know. Do you guys have anything else? Moon nope. got nerfed. Wally, again. any insight on these patches? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm like looking at these and I'm just like, aw, new new. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't read through the patch notes a lot, but someone made a montage of like new new with uh, like 45% CDR and it's just like yeah. snowball after snowball. Yeah. So I thought, I thought after that video maybe they were gonna like nerf that somehow, but it seems like they. No, they no, yeah, kept it. they, yeah, <laughs> no, they, kept they reduced it. the cooldown on his snowball. Yeah, yeah. they did actually, because it's 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 six at all ranks. What? But now it's like six to like four point five or whatever, which is pretty cool. Yeah, four seconds. At yeah, yeah, with the two second duration, great. so that means yeah. that you have like half a second not slowed. 
Mundu's useless without that. He needed that. Yeah. They also gave him more slow at the beginning. Like I said, there was a lot done. So they, they changed the cooldown, the mana cost, the slow duration, the slow strength, the base damage, and the AP ratio on that. So it like, completely got changed. Nunu needs a rework, I think. Mm, I think it's I don't done. know. I think he's okay where he's at right now. Yeah, he's not like, as a counter jungler more than anything. Yeah, exactly. Like, nah. Objective control is his goal. Right. Yeah. Get him so. out of here. I mean, I guess they're from the game. Those... <laughs> okay, don't, he's don't gone. the champion. <laughs> Nunu never happened. <laughs> Redcon everything. Yep. <laughs> uh, All right, that's patch. Yeah, that's patch. Um, New stuff coming up, though. Yep. Yep. New York. Stuff speaking of stuff. reworks, York's getting a rework. Finally. Finally. Yeah. I used to play a lot of York because he was easy top lane, and I have a lot of trouble with yep. top lane. Um. And now it's just like it's useless. He's just so useless. There's no good reason to play Yorick ever in any game. Nope. Even to like try and push your lane and stuff, it doesn't matter. He's just trash. There's other people that do it way better. Than right. Him. I just think that they introduced champions that did what he did but better, you know, and that just definitely like pushed him out. Yeah. Yeah, but what he does, like his ult, is the reason to pick him, right? Kind of. No, I don't to think his ult. Someone. I don't think his ult. No, nah. I mean yeah. I've always seen him just like counter picked into somebody that's short range or somebody that you can harass in lane really easily. That's pretty much it. Yeah. And yeah. even then, he still fails at that because, <laughs> I mean, he's just in a really weird spot. He doesn't really do a whole lot of damage, and he's a range caster kind of, but a melee. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Really weird spot. Good. Get, get him. Put him with Nunu on the shit pile. And kick him <laughs> out of the game. Uh, one thing I am excited for, though, is they said that they're going to be doing a mage rework, kind of like they did with the Marksman Ooh. for preseason. So I like it'll that. Be, yeah, it'll I'm be excited interesting. for that. Yeah, I feel like mage has kind of been pushed out a little bit. Who do you um, think they're going to pick? They, they already named who they're going to do. Oh, they did? Uh, who is it? Yeah, I forget exactly. I know Vigar's on the list, yes! which I thought was weird. Yeah, mm -hmm. because he recently got kind of a little remake. Everyone was really upset that they didn't put Galio on the list. Yeah. Because he's very old. He's, he's a he's a niche fit though too, kind of. I was just talking about somebody that about this with somebody the other day that he kind of fits really well if there's a high like mage comp. So maybe they're thinking that with the mage update that we'll see more AP champions played and then he'll actually become a viable tank again. So uh, the updates they're doing to Malzahar, Velkaz, Brand, Vladimir, Cassiopeia, and Zyra. I guess I was wrong about uh, Vigar. Damn. I broke my teeth on Vigar for mid lane. A lot of those champions have been reworked within like the past year. Besides I Vlad. Read, I could be reading this wrong. Yeah, but, I just pulled up like a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I think those are the six that they're focusing on. But I also think that they're going to focus on the, the items, too. Because they also did the same thing with, like, the Marksman. They came out with yeah. item reworks and stuff like that. So right. working on build paths, working on some somebody of, fitting more into where they think they should. or Some of the champions had specific changes that were a lot heavier than others, too. So they might right. go heavy with a, you know, Viagra rework, but keep Brand relatively where he is. Yeah, it could be, but like some of these champs, I see a lot like Malzahar, Velkaz, Brand, Cassiopeia. Like those are pretty mm -hmm. common champs. It yeah, doesn't I love feel Cass. like they need a rework, really. Uh, yeah, I don't. Out of out of all those that you just named, I don't think Brand needs any <laughs> kind of fucking touching at all. Holy shit, his his scaling is really great. Like he has he has no reason to be messed with at all. I think they're more focused rather away from the balancing and more towards if they're fun to play. You know? Right. Especially, I mean, Brand is really fun to play, though. That seems to be what they focused on with the AD changes. Right, the so like focusing focus. on somebody's strengths. So like, right. Caitlyn, they focused on giving her that long-range poke like, because that's what <clears throat> she was kind of played for. Malzahar, for instance, is boring as fuck to play. Like, yeah, yeah, it'll be like... <laughs> you, you stay in the back of the line until your ult is up, and then you flash in an ult, and that's it. And then you got to wait two minutes until your ult comes back <laughs> up to be relevant again. Same as Vlad. I mean, just mash your W and then hit your Q as often as possible. Right, right. So, uh, 
I guess we'll just wait and see. It's good that they announced it. I like that they're mm-hmm. actually telling us what they're working on and have right. an, an, a schedule here. So Tarek's coming up next, and then the Mage update, and then Yorick will be last, it seems. I'm so happy for that Tarek update. He needed it the most. Him and Poppy yeah. needed it so bad. Yeah. Uh, the whole point and click and instant uh, ability without any kind of skill shot is kind of shitty. It makes for a very boring time. Tarek is a right. very boring champion to play. Yeah. Curse over somebody, hit Q. Yeah. Curse over an enemy, hit W. And then get close, or hit e, w, whatever it is. And hit R. And then, right. Yeah, curse her over and, and heal your guy. Auto attack him between casting your spells. And yeah. that's Tarek. <laughs> I think he's I think he's just fun because like if you just build him tanky enough, you can just sit there under tower and just hang out for no reason. And that's what makes him fun, but otherwise yeah, his kid is just absolutely boring. Right. There's yeah. there's nothing in inter- there's just, there's nothing. There's nothing. Well and they got rid of like the fun stuff on him, like his passive scaled off of mana or so that way you could at least like build other items that weren't tanky items to try different stuff with it, but now it's like they force you into building tanky because his passive scales off of armor now. So, yeah. Sheena, what would you say your role is? What's your main role? What do you like playing the most? Top. Top, huh? Top lane, yeah. That's weird. You like out out playing people? Top players. Pretty are much. Weird. Yeah, I I like <laughs> top laning, and then like I I don't I can't jungle to save my life literally. So like jungle is like my worst role and then my favorite role to play is top. But I don't mind being an ADC I guess. As long as I'm like as long as my, my support is somebody that I know. Because otherwise I just can't I, I can't synergize with people unless I know them. It's weird. Like so a tr- that's why I don't... Like a trust issue? Yeah. Or? yeah I think it's a trust issue really. Because like some champion some ADCs I like want to go forward and go super ham and just push as hard and then mm-hmm. some some other ADCs not so much and so Doing with like a, a random person, it doesn't well, that, work. That it makes doesn't sense. work. I mean, you need to know you got that person has your back and kind of read you a little bit. Yeah, like somebody that's watching the stream right now, uh, Gathma live stream. He's a he's an awesome fucking Nami player. Like he's fantastic as Nami and hits his bubbles on point all the time. And I love going bot lane with him and going super aggro because I know I can count on him and getting me the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah, but I don't know. It's I just, wish I knew so. support like that. Talk to Gathma. <laughs> He's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Be good, Wally. Jeez. I did, I did good, okay. Son. The last game we played, I did okay. I was laning with Spooks. We kicked ass. Yeah. So you Spooks were laning with Spooks, is, and yeah. Spooks just <laughs> fucking player. carried everybody. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Wally. Yeah. Um, no, they're not. No, we're <laughs> dead serious. Eh. Your performance in League of Legends is how we base uh, you, uh, your friendship with us. I think we need to have a performance review, Wally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I hate League, so... <laughs> Shit, I think you're getting replaced, dog. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Yep. no. Can I be the replacement? Can I, sure. can I yeah. fill the spot? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, sure. Now, the, uh, I've I actually have been enjoying taking a more tempered approach to the game, and I think Guido and I have been trying to spearhead a bit more of a have-fun movement with it, and I think we've done fairly good. Yeah. We're surrounded ourselves with people who are you know enjoying the game for what it is and not... Trying too hard. Right. Yeah. Uh, team Builder, the removal of Team Builder kind of put a damper on that. Like, this dynamic yeah. queue, I have a few issues with I don't that. like it. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't really comment on it, but just, like, them getting rid of Team Builder kind of just left me, like, a little annoyed. So like, I'm sure I'm not going to like the dynamic thing. Team Builder was, like, my little corner off in the league. Yeah, it was. Space. That's all that you played was <laughs> right. Team Builder. Where it was just like, oh, I'm going to play Team Builder. No one gives a shit because it's stupid Team Builder. It's lower than Blind Pick, but just above AI games, you know? And uh, now it's gone, and now I have to be forced into this ranked dynamic queue because that's what everybody wants to play. Where... Hey, you know, you know what game mode that people play where no one gives a shit? ARAM. ARAM, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's all that Aram no cool plays. Fucking sucks. <laughs> Aram is so fun when you're just wanting to just dick around and yeah. just do stupid well, builds. No, hold on. I, I the, the one I understand Guido's position though in regards to there. There should you should be able to play the normal version of League of Legends and still not give too much of a fuck. 
It's no, no, I, I agree. No, I absolutely agree. But that's clearly not how we're going to do it. So we just have to sit here and just shut up and deal with it, basically. <laughs> and either fucking either sit around with our thumbs in our ass and not play League of Legends, or we play ARAMs and fucking shitty ranked. You should play with us. We, we, we're we fucking terrible, and we play normal. Hey, hey, Wally. Yeah. So I play with, I, I play with Nasty and Gweeds. I don't play with you guys because you're never around. So. <laughs> no, I, that's, true. I, that's true. I don't play uh, League of Legends. I'm the I'm the non League of Legends guy in this group. Uh, I tell what you are, why are you on this podcast? Well, Get, out of, Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Yeah, the second half. The general gaming There's news the door. and reviews. There's and... the door. <laughs> um, Sorry, guys. No, um, it's fine. I'm used to it. So, Dynamic you, I, uh, the biggest thing I don't like about it is that I have to pay attention and it takes fucking 20 minutes to get into a stupid fucking, fucking ever. game. For fucking ever. They don't, like, let you lock in early. And right. that, I think, is the reason why it takes so long. Because it's a minute every fucking time somebody does something. Right. Right. Just let us lock in. Let yeah. us lock in. Let me lock in. Get rid in. of the, the whole pre-pick your champion bullshit. Right. Who the fuck cares? It's completely unneeded. Right, completely everybody picks a troll unneeded. fucking right. pick anyways. Yeah. Get rid of it. Come on, Riot. We know we got your ear. <laughs> yeah, right, we know please. you're listening. Clearly. Because mm-hmm. we got a shout out on the League Community Podcast. So somebody there listens. Yeah, they do. And we're also think... very not safe for work, apparently. <laughs> very not. Like, I think right. The, I think the... Indicating who you're going to play is a good thing, but they need to shorten the time on it because I think it's 40 right. seconds, which is... Yeah, and you just time. sit there for 40 seconds, and then I walk away, and then I come back, and it's like, oh, shit, I had to ban somebody. Yeah. Fuck. And the other thing I don't like is that you can't, like, browse all the champions when other people are picking. You mm-hmm. only, like, the champions just pop up when it's your turn. Right. So if I want to, like, play someone else, like, I don't know. I also don't I like the ban. The, champions? the ban phase, like... Just one, there needs to be more bands, right? It's still three, isn't it? It's still yeah. three, yes. And it's one band per person. Like it takes there's six yeah, bands it's three, four, on. and five. It should just be two, two, one. You know, two bands on one side, two bands on the other. So then each team gets six. So bands. just like picking. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Each team gets six bands. Only three people pick the bands. So the first person picks two, the second person picks two, and the last person picks the final band. Or sorry, that's five. Um, and uh, just make it quicker. Make everything quicker. Or just bring back team builders so that I won't have to bitch about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. I don't know. I think 12 champs is too many champs to ban. Yeah. 10 champs. Like I think what like, I meant. 10 champs. Uh, yeah, I, think I still 10. think that's too that's many. I don't, out of I don't 130 know, champions? Yeah, out of 130 yeah. champions yeah, okay. banning Out of those 130, not realistic. Like, how many are play, relevant? Yeah, people, like, there's... A very small amount of those are relevant is the answer to that question. Mm. There's like maybe 20 champs that are played regularly. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, I think there's a lot that not... are relevant. Yeah, there's a lot. I, that are I guess looking through this, well, there's a lot more that are relevant. In terms of competitive relevant. play or regularly competitive play. Yeah, like competitive play, which translates into in competitive play. It's much sour of a pool. Right, but that translates directly into if you're playing draft mode because. Those are the same bands. People ban the same OP champs and pick the same OP champs. Well, then to give us some like, more bands so that we get rid of those guys. You know? Why not? Makes sense. Let's ban yeah. some more guys. Well, at what point yeah. would you allow more bands? Millpool? How many champions would it take? Uh, Wait, uh, how many champions? Yeah. No, I think it should Out be... Out of the like total a, pool. If you want ten bands, then that should be a different game mode. And then they're just like... They're breaking up their player base even more if they add a new game mode. Right. But no, but which there I'm has not saying to be is a, a bad point. idea, but you have to make that decision. Like, do we want to have a different game mode with ten or twelve bands? There has and to like, be a what's point, the point where of the champion that? pool is too big for just six bands. I don't think so. Why? Why does there have to be? I mean, a point? by its sheer nature, it has to be eventually. Why right? do you want more bands on... in the first place? I don't understand. Because there's, there's a shit ton of champions. champions. Yeah, I mean, they're going to keep yeah. adding champions. At what point is there too many champions? There has to be a point. You can't why? just say that. Why, like, why, is, yeah, like... why is too many champs a problem, though? Well, then why have bands at all, is what you're kind of saying. Because there are champs that people just don't want to play against. So then there's going to be more of those champions as they make or more play with. But you have, to, you, have to, you have to make that decision when you're banning champs. So are you advocating with the number that of bands that you more... have? 
Are you saying people should just be more strategic with their bands rather than adding more bands? Even with I, more champions? I'm just coming? saying I think it's fine the way it is. I think six bands is fine. Well, let's say like, like a year from now or two years from now, and there's like a dozen or more champions added to the pool. Did, will that ever tip the scales, ever? I mean, maybe take it up by one band, maybe four bands each, but going to six, like 12, going mm -hmm. from six to 12 is a big jump. I meant, well, 10 is a reasonable number, I think. Especially now. So let's meet in the middle and call it eight. Yeah. For the sake yeah, of argument. Yeah, we'll call oh, it yeah. eight. Yeah. Write a letter I'll, to Riot and there. tell them that we've decided, <laughs> including me, who apparently is worthless and garbage in regards to the league. I'll start at the top. I'll, I'll get the John Hancock at the very top, make a little dick imprint on it. You can mail that off to Riot. Right. Uh, well, right. speaking right. of Riot. Yeah. <laughs> The people that yeah. make this game that we're talking about. They made and that a they lot apparently of money this listen year. to us and like us. Uh, they made a lot of money this year. This past uh, fiscal year of 2015. They made, uh, let's get a, just put it slightly over $1.6 billion. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Mamma mia. Yeah. Oh, oy I'm, I'm not going to tell you how much I spent. On League of Legends. <laughs> was it 1.6 billion dollars? Yes, I bought. I bought all, this all is right. all me. It was all me. Um, um, I talked to somebody who spent like ten thousand dollars on League of Legends. Oh, okay, I haven't spent that much, but I've spent at least like two thousand dollars in League. Yeah. No, not Guido. What's your running tally, Guido? Oh, I don't. Probably I like, have no idea. Probably f I, four or five hundred dollars. Yeah, I'd put mine at probably like three hundred, maybe four hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah, mine. The last time I asked somebody to check for me was back like six, seven months ago, and it was like a thousand something. Whoops! Yes. Whoops! Yeah. Hey man, do what you love. Hey man. man, it's like the thing is, is I don't even buy shit for me. It's all gifts. It's like I, right. I gift mystery skins constantly to everybody. Like You're that's just a thing. Oh it's yeah, nice I thing. got Give tons away. of those from you. Thanks for that. <laughs> 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 I actually wish that I could gift some of these lunar shop skins. I yeah, my lunar shop skins were garbage, and I was pissed. Oh, uh, I got awesome. I got, I got bad ones. I got junkyard trundle, which I'm definitely buying. Yeah. I got like three Katarina skins, and I don't even own Katarina. What the fuck? Wait, you have then do you get Katarina? I don't yeah. have Katarina, but then it gave it to me it? anyway. Yeah, you do, but huh. I mean, I didn't want it i didn't want her and it gave me three skins it was dumb yeah i got some pretty okay ones I are they that... just okay they are good one <laughs> thanks <laughs> they were just okay uh that red crimson poppy which seems to be everybody seems to have gotten that uh crimson poppy one not me just every, like four or five people i've talked to have that one on their list uh none that i'm gonna buy i'm not gonna buy any meh Nah. Not for me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. Gui, do you kind of <laughs> did get shitty skins? Yeah. And shitty deals, too. <laughs> well, it's all that YouTube money. They know I make all that YouTube money. Yeah, all that YouTube money. Right. I got two 70s, two 50s, a 40, and a 20. Oh. You didn't get any 50% off, so that sucks. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what mine was, but it was bad. That's all I know. <laughs> well, they're going to get a lot more money with this. I think this is a good uh, little marketing tactic to get more people to buy oh, yeah. skins. Right? For sure. We're talking I mean, about if you can get something for 70% off. Right. Is this happening right now? Yeah. yeah. Isn't this the thing they did? Oh, okay. Yeah, they did it for... the winter shop. No, they just redid it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was too. thinking. I was thinking the winter shop. Hang on, I'm opening the new one, the lunar <laughs> reveal shop. I'm doing it literally right now. Oh, oh let's do it live. Reveals. Live action. Everybody, hang in there, folks. We got some live reveals here. Oh my God! Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I already gave you guys some cool secret information to like first look oh, here, you so did. you guys can shut yeah. your goddamn mouths. We got a sweet exclusi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't um, think I've ever th have had this much shade thrown in back and forth with a guest before. Yeah. I love it. I like it too. Dude, I'm sassy. It's just the thing that happens. You I'm are, sorry. You are sassy. You're like uh, it's like a. a 35-year-old black woman possessed your body. <laughs> There's no, the, the thing is, is like, we 
and Nasty have no excuse because they've talked to me multiple mm -hmm. times. They've played oh, League yeah. with me multiple times, so this is not a surprise. Oh, no, yeah. it's a, it's, it, I like it. No, they want you to fit right crazy. In. All right, good. Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> um, well, I actually found out where Shade came from. The, Do you know where it came is from? It when, is it when something blocks the sun? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. That's the word. No. <laughs> the, the, uh... Definition that Wally's talking about is like you know hatred towards another person, and it came from uh, the gay gangs in Brooklyn back in the eighties. Wow, the gay yeah, they would gangs do... back in yep. Brooklyn. That way, they just the came up 80s. with that and used it as like as that term. Yeah. Huh. Um. They. I actually. There's a documentary about it called uh, "Paris Is Burning." Yeah. yeah so. Were you doing some uh, gay gang research? Yeah. Gay yeah. <laughs> yep. like, I that, need to find a gang, gang to join. <laughs> <laughs> Local gay gang. Local gay gang. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you. I'm not gonna give you crap for that because I love entomology. So that was really insightful, nasty. Thank you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for a movie to watch, guys, go watch Paris is Burning. Okay. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're on it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I was doing, I was doing character research. For that is my a improv really class. strange documentary for to recommend coming from you too. Yeah. Oh, you too. Great gang. Yep. Great gang. I Great just, gang. Yeah. yeah. What? Gang. gang? It's Irish gang. gang. Yeah. Irish gang. You too. <laughs> oh, nice. we're gonna cure the AIDS in Africa. Oh, no. oh, oh, no. oh it's Bono. Here. Oh, it's a new league of luggage. Oh, <laughs> the patch notes are. Oh. <laughs> Why does he play League all of a sudden? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. I guess we can all get right. into this fucking LCS shit. Mm, we can pass. Yeah, let's we pass, pass LCS. Everybody watched uh, it. Yeah. Millpool? Yeah. I didn't really have anything to say. Anyway. Did anything? Okay, I don't yeah. have any, yeah, I don't Nothing have anything really to say. exciting. Immortals uh, are 4 or yeah, 4 and 0. But High is back now. That's yeah. that's what happened. He came back after they lost again, and I think he's starting again this week. I think yeah, better do that. And he won it for him. Like, why is he yeah, the he brain won. of that team? That's crazy. Because he's the shot caller. Like, when he shot calls, they seem to win. Yeah. So, I think he's trying to teach somebody else, like, intermittently, so that way he can step out and not leave them hanging. That's yeah. such a I mean, he was, he's skill. trying to teach Buddy Fufu, but they're not the same team without High. That's a good with, skill like, to With High, they're like a top three team, but without him, they're not. I should go play in the LCS because I'm a great shot caller. So You're a cock caller? You're, you're a horrible You're shot very caller. decisive shot caller, but <laughs> yeah, except 88% of those decisions are the wrong ones. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. If we would just listen to me, we would win every no. single game. <laughs> no. No. no, just agree with me, Guido. Go it's to the, Dragons. It's, it's everyone else's execution of his shot calls. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's the hesitation of my mm -hmm. shot calls. If you would just have faith. Mm -mm. You gotta have faith. <laughs> just have, have faith, 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 faith in ah. me. Uh, do the jig, oh. bug. Uh, I got placed in bronze two this weekend. <laughs> that's Ouch. that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. oh. Talking about ranks. <laughs> speaking of shot calling. <laughs> yeah, speaking of shot calling and how awesome I am. Um, yeah, I don't know about ranked. I thought about playing it, but man, I just can't. I don't know. Let's do it. You've never done it, right? No, I've played ranked before. I haven't done it in the past, like, two seasons. Uh. Um, yeah, we'll see. Probably not. Uh, okay, let's get on to general gaming. What do you guys think of that? Well... That's kind of what I'm here for, so let's do that. All right, General Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, this is John Bow number five. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody in Discord, so come on, let's ride to the league game around the corner. The boys say they want some free elo, but I really don't wanna lose a streak like I had last week. I must stay deep, cause talk is cheap. I like nasty, Wally, Milpool, and Guida. As I continue, you know they're getting sweeter. So what can I do? I really beg you, my lord. To me, the LCS is just like a sport. Anything fly, it's all good. Let me jungle. Please send in the voice more. A little bit of segue in my life. A little bit of just okay by my side. Jungle number five. 
That was a good segue. Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, good that was pretty good. Cool. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't realize how bad that sounded. What? I like, amazing. I, I like Millpool's uh, like cry singing. Sounds like yeah. someone's <laughs> like, slapping. I, I got into it more. We're in a little bit of Jumbo. One side. Did Jumbo just break up with you? Is that what happened? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was good. Jabo, thank you for the d- donation. And uh, who's the other one? It was Never go full team. Never go full team. Yeah. Never go full team. Also, thank you for the uh, pledge on Patreon. If you guys want to pledge and get a segue, uh, just go to patreon.com slash just okay gamers. We still haven't set our next milestone. I don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> We're having trouble picking that. Yeah. But. 24-hour stream, it's going to be in February. That's all we can say right now. We still have to nail down a good date. Oh, Mm jeez. Yeah. but It's going to be rough. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. So Have uh, fun. Yeah. Yeah, you know it. Well, the the good thing is there's four of us, so we can split it up, kind of. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. But that still sucks. (laughs) I I do I I do a 48-hour stream, like, in May for charity, so it's... It hurts. Forty-eight hour? Forty-eight hours, yeah. Oh, it's a it's okay. a 48, 48 hour horror game stream, uh, called Scare to Care, and we oh. raise money for can uh for children of cancer patients to go to summer oh, camp. Nice. That's really cool. And we get like YouTubers and stuff to come and hang out like on the couch and play games. And so if we're like three four hours, we'll have the game grumps, and then like another four hours, we'll have like the completionist or whatever, and then a couple hours, we'll have like Andrew WK and a bunch of people. Wow, that's it's awesome. kind of cool. Yeah, cool. so, but it's still pretty insane because you have to like take care of everybody and make sure everybody has their shit. So like staying up for forty eight hours is Ooh. just like it's it's rough. Right, mm-hmm. right. So uh, good luck. Um, <laughs> thanks. We're gonna need it. Um, uh, yeah. We'll let you guys know when that happens. Uh, so for general gaming, uh, we've just been kind of playing a d- bunch of different games. Been waiting for a few games. Uh, one game that I've been playing a lot of, I think Millpool's been playing a little bit of it, uh, is called The I Witness. I want to play it. The Witness. Yeah. Yeah. How many hours in, have you put into that? I don't know. Probably like four or five. Okay. I put in two, maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to buy that game. It looks awesome. It's good. It's pretty good. It's... I've found that it's, um... Um, how could I put frustrating? It? It's very yeah, it's very frustrating. And repetitive, but it, <laughs> yeah, I a little bit of say that too. It's repetitive. Uh, it's not the repetitive. puzzles are the same from what I've seen. From no, again, I haven't played are this, so from what I've seen, not the same. They use the same baseline framework metaphor of those sure. lines, though, right? Well, there's groups of there's groups of puzzles, and each group has a mechanic that kind of follows along with it. Some of them use lines, some of them are perspectives, uh, some of them, yeah, you, the overall base of it is probably very similar with drawing the lines and making, solving the puzzle that way. Yeah, so if you don't, if you don't know what The Witness is, it's, uh, um, it's by a guy named Jonathan Blow, and some other people too, he made it with a studio. Um, what a last name, Blow. But, yeah, <laughs> uh, but he set out to make a game that's very much like Mist, and it it looks a lot like Mist from the two hours I played of it, and they just kind of throw you on an island, and there's no instruction or anything. There's just like you come across puzzles, um, in the form of these like LCD screens on the island, and you solve the puzzles, and then things happen. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's it's fun. It's a pretty game. Uh, you have to really like puzzles. And this is something yeah. Milton and I kind of <laughs> discussed. Mostly, he uh, professed his passion for the project, and I kind of slightly made fun of him as he was doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? It was I in, just, in our uh, Discord. Milpool's yeah, very I, impressed with the game. Is at least that's what it seemed like. You really like this game, right? Well, he's not alone in that regard. I, I want, like, I want to really like it, and I want other people to check it out with an open mind. Like, the only thing, I was making a lot of comments towards you because I just want you to keep playing it, basically. And it seems like you did, so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't going like, to give it up. 
Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't want you because like, you were calling it like a puzzle game, and you're saying it was overpriced at some point, and it is. I over- well, you to keep playing I'm it. pretty confident that it's overpriced. I, that's it, yeah, it's overpriced. It's still a phenomenal game for its genre. Right. I mean, forty but bucks. But still overpriced. It's forty bucks, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't agree with that necessarily, but that's fair. Yeah. He's been making it for eight years. If that counts well, that, for anything. Yeah. And it's certain, years, and yeah. and I think uh, not enough appreciation. Oh, and this might be where you're coming into this too. And I can back you up in terms of the amount of work that requires creating this world that interconnects through a variety of different layers and types of puzzles. Oh, it's a I, very I mean, clever game. Yeah, I mean that should be given credit. And you're right. It, maybe it's worth that amount of time. There's points where you're just walking around the island and you look up and you kind of see something and you take a few steps to the left and it just matches up and the perspective is perfect of some image or something that you wouldn't see if you were three steps to the right. And it's just, it's filled with things like that where you you have to appreciate the work that had gone into this game. You have to. You got to. to. You got to <laughs> like it. Uh, but overall, I can't imagine working on one project though for eight years. Like eight I get frustrated years. working on something at work for like a month and a half, two months. Yeah, I don't know like how much of that time was dedicated to this game because it was supposed to come out in 2011 and then it got pushed back five years for some reason. Um, it was so probably I, busy or something. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? yeah, life happened. You know, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I wish it I knew more of it. How do you think but... you got the last name Blow? <laughs> hey. Wow! Blow got in the Blow. way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a good game. If you like, you have to like puzzles. You have to like puzzles. So oh, I do. If you like that's puzzles, why I love Fez so much. Yeah, I, that's what people were saying. Also, they're like, "Oh, nasty, love Fez. He'd probably love this game." So, right. like, yeah, you you have to love puzzles. If you don't like puzzles, and I do. You kind of like ah, puzzles are okay occasionally in a game. This is not for you. It's not. <laughs> Would you say that, Millpool? Uh, yeah. Um, you definitely have to like puzzles. Yeah. But I, I think like there's a lot of interesting ways that puzzles are presented to you in this game. It's not just you know you're not just playing like a crossword or something. No, there's there's a lot it's of actually creative to experience. Like, there's an aesthetic metaphors at work that make the puzzles more engaging than just walking up and trying to connect the dots. Right. Yeah, so uh, give that a shot if you want. I like it. Overall, I i mean, if I played another four or five hours, I'd say I've gotten my $40 worth. worth. But uh, as the more I play it, the more frustrated I get, so I don't know if I'll ever get <laughs> well, to that Well, you know, point. Yeah, I've just been gift very it to me. Let it. me borrow it, and I'll just finish out the game for you. Can't you just share your Steam thing? Yeah, you can. I'm not gonna do. You can share gonna... your scene later. <laughs> my, yeah. my half finished game. No, he would. It, it'll it'll be be shared it, that it would be. He'd start over. Yeah, I would yeah, start over. Oh, yeah. It'd be like his own save. Right, and then I'll just share a game with you that you really, really want. It doesn't work like that. You have to share your entire library. You can't yeah. share individual games. I so. own every game that you have probably three times. <laughs> wow, <laughs> probably. three times. The <laughs> like little hash marks next to the game title. Yep. I don't dashes. doubt that at all. Uh-huh. Guido probably has like 250 games in his yep. Steam library. I'm on NG Plus with uh, Steam right now. Just every game is the same game over again. Do you want to guess my library <laughs> right now? <laughs> what? How many <laughs> games you have in the library? Yeah, guess how many yeah. games I have in my Steam library? 217. <laughs> uh, 417. Up. 556. Up. 650. <laughs> Up. A thousand. Eight million uh, five hundred. You have thousand. over a thousand games in your Steam library. You wait. Uh, you're telling me you have eight thousand games in your <laughs> library? <laughs> million Are games. you trying to tell me you have eight hundred million games, gentlemen? In your Steam library, he owns I all own. Of Steam. I own the Steam library. You yeah, are Steam. Steam. You own Steam, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we just download them from you every time we buy a game. I have I have fifteen hundred games for what it's worth. Jesus. Holy Fuck! How do you play any of that? I use a randomizer. You never have any money. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, this is over nine or ten years, so could be but in sales. Okay, so yeah. over ten years, that's only 150 games a year. 
Some lot were on sale. Yeah, but still. The bundles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old Wally. Yeah. Hundred and I mean, like, my library's at seventy games. Yeah, hey, you're so, getting there. I'm logging into my Steam right now to tell you how much to see I have. What, to see where you're at. Yeah, Wait, I, I know it's like 200 something. What? What were your looter deals on League? Oh, I, typed them. Them, I typed them in the chat way earlier. I bought yeah. three of my lunar deals. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, there was a really great deal on a Siren Cass and uh, Divine Soraka and Valkyrie Leona. Hmm. I have exactly 275 games. On Steam. Nice. Wow. Very good. Very nice. Sheena, what have you been playing lately? Yeah. Hearthstone. Oh, Hearthstone. nice. I love Hearthstone. It's a fun Hearthstone, game. Hearthstone, because that's all I have time for. I think I like it because it's got quick pickup and oh. low investment time. I uh, I completed the season five of Diablo three. I don't know if anyone else is playing at oh. all. Nice, nice. Um, so. Yeah. Go uh, ahead. Uh, PAX South is this weekend. Yeah. Yoo! And somebody might be going to PAX South this weekend. Yeah, it's me. I'm <laughs> Wait, who? Yeah, it's, it's Guido. Guido. It's Guido. Yeah, it's Guido. Yeah, it's Guido. Guido. Yeah. It's Guido's yeah. going to Nobody PAX else South is going. Week. I'm actually right now in Texas. I'm... Nobody else? Mm -hmm. You're going to you, be the only one at PAX South? I bought yeah, a, it's just, all it's just PAX. <laughs> you bought a track of land. Did you, you sell your house <laughs> from its foundations? Did you really just put PAX in your warehouse? Because yeah, I feel like that... That would have been the best move because you have the only key. Mm -hmm. I brought packs to me. Yep. <laughs> yep. Pre makes sense. Makes sense. Hit the warehouse with the one bullet on the yes. pedestal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. No, but really, yeah, I'm going to pack south. <laughs> yeah. What are you? What are you most looking forward to? Um, getting really drunk with my friends. Literally, Solid. that's kind of that's uh, honestly that's kind of it. So basically, like, packs is work. For me, PAX is work. It's not. It's not for pleasure. It's right. work, because as a game developer, as a community manager, as a video game music composer, all those conventions, GC, PAX, like it's all just work. Right. So, basically, like, and, and it's like legit work. Like my lawyer, my personal lawyer, is actually going to be at PAX, and that's where where me or he and I are going to discuss like the the. Opening the, up, yeah, the game the studio shop. thing, like, yeah. So work, and then, but actually, so there's there's two panels I want to go to, which is like, um, it's a horror game, uh, panel where it's just like, or it's called like horror in video games or something. So I'm just gonna go and sit in the back and just go, yeah. I'm not doing anything for an hour, so <laughs> fuck off, everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then they're they're making a Friday the Thirteenth game, kind of like Evolve. You know, mm -hmm. where you can be like, but it's Friday the 13th, so one person plays as Jason and everybody else plays as camp counselors. Okay. And so the, the devs that are making that game have a panel at PAX South that, that I totally want to go to and check out. And yeah. I'm pretty stoked. Other than that, uh, one of my closest friends uh, is a nerdcore rapper by the name of MC Frontalot, and he performs at all of the PAXs. So oh, nice. going to go nice. see him on Saturday and get cool. really fucking plastered. <laughs> so pretty much PAX. That's that's what you do at PAX and play and play indie games. Yeah, right. And you play a bunch of indie games, which most of them, unfortunately, are nothing but like two D side scrollers, because yeah. they all want it because they all want to be the next Shovel Knight, basically. Right. So <laughs> I'm basically gonna walk around and find play all the games that aren't two D side scrolling platformers. Mm, you have about five of those. <laughs> yeah, pretty. My my roommate just walked in and he's nodding like, yeah, basically that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. I love PAX. So Me too. I can't fun. wait for East. It's going to be a lot of fun. Are you guys going to East? We are. Yeah, all yes. four of us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. We're, we're all going to hang out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We're, we're, sure. we're, all, we're all, yeah, yeah. Oh. I go to all of them. Oh, yeah. If we have a panel, will you be our only person there? Yes. <laughs> I will, yes. And I'll sit, I'll sit in the way back and just be like, take it off. <laughs> <laughs> take it off. I mean, we awesome. probably would have to because you're the only person there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what else would we be doing? Just talking to the wall. Um, I mean, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so yeah, I just got Tomb Raider. Fucking finally, Jesus Christ! I didn't know that there was such a large hole in my life until I finally <laughs> got a, a very pretty uh, on rails single player experience that I've been <laughs> dreaming of. The <laughs> Fuck, you hate open worlds. 
Yeah, I, hate I think I know why you hate open world too. Why? It's because you like to consume the content and get the full experience without putting as like with putting as little effort into it as possible so that way you can get on to the next consumable experience. I suppose that's pretty accurate. I mean, I understand the uh on Rails thing like having a uh like a packaged product that directs you through the game. You know, in the ways that it wants you to see the game. Right. Yeah. Is, uh, you know, that's, there's a lot of value in that. Mm -hmm. If you want a really great on Rails experience, you should play Spooky's Horror House of Jump Scares. <laughs> oh, you wow. son of a bitch! Wow! Oh, you son of a bitch! Wow. So close. Ah, uh, one ah, day, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm leaving again. I'm done. I'm done. Goodbye. Again. Goodbye. I'm leaving again. <laughs> Oh, she actually left. Oh, uh, one thing we know you'll Mission accomplished. get it right. Mission accomplished. We're good to go. Um, but yeah, uh, Tomb Raider's out. It is a pretty game. I played it for maybe two hours, and uh, then I just zonked out on the couch. <laughs> oh, sweet hat change. Oh, I hat bet. change. Um, but yeah, Tomb Raider is good from what I've uh, I loved so it. far. Uh, I won't give anything away, but you're gonna. So all some... the all the top games of the year lists. Yeah. I've seen. I don't believe that. Very specific subset of. <laughs> yeah, very very specific subset. <laughs> um, it has to do with Paris is burning. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Gay gangs. Gay gangs. Mm -hmm. Gay gangs. <laughs> top gay gangs. Ten lists of the year. <laughs> Particularly New York gay yeah. gangs. Yeah. <laughs> New York specifically. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would work today, and I was just so happy to get home and fire up some Tomb Raider right when I got off a new a totally new experience it was like the first hour is just all cinematics maybe you get a little 30 second burst of walking in a straight line uh, but th no actually that's not true because right away right when you load into the game you're thrown like off a cliff and you have to jump off icebergs and uh, you uh, get thrown around they, in the they really they beat the shit out of her in the last game. Yeah, they did. Like, they did. The opening of the last game was like that as well. She's just getting like impaled through the abdomen right. and falling right. down. Yeah, they the they messed with her hard. Yeah, mm, uh, messed with her hard. One of the Ooh. best deaths. Mm -hmm. I've oh, seen, sure. One of the best deaths I've seen so far is I fell into a spike trap, and uh, I just go horizontal onto a bed of spikes, and one goes directly into oh, her. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, gross. <laughs> in her head? Yeah. Solid. Well, they go all the way through her body everywhere because there's a ton of spikes, but the camera's just basically focused right on her head. <laughs> yeah. It's glorious. Yeah, that was, the th that was the other thing with that last game. Like, the death animations were really cool. You almost right. wanted to see them, wanted to make her die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're <laughs> super gory and kind of gross. Yeah, kind of gross, but I appreciated them. It was a nice touch. Um, okie dokie, karaoke. What else is there? Karaoke. Oh, the division is. Yeah, Beta coming up this weekend. This weekend. Uh, right. I'm about to, Wally's going to be streaming yeah, it. I'm about to grab the key out of my back pocket, slowly insert it into this cage, and whip the door open and stand back because here comes Wally <laughs> to talk about the fucking division, which I've been hearing about all goddamn week from him. That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yep. Moving oh, on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's why Wally's here. Uh, no, I, you know, we talked about it, it already for a little bit, but uh, actually I have a surprise for everybody in chat. Oh, uh, what's that? I'm going to randomly draw from big. anybody who's interested at the end of the show, and I have a key for the baby. Oh, nice, oh. nice. But, um, but moreover, uh, Tom Clancy's The Division. Uh, it's going to be basically a PC version of Destiny in the way it'll play. I'm very excited for that because I went away for a while when Destiny came out, and now I don't have to go away. And yeah, you uh, did. Like, yeah a month was, and a half. <laughs> I was I was sucked into Destiny for a little bit, and it's set in New York during a virus outbreak, and you are the last vestiges of American law enforcement, known as the Division, trying to keep society together. And you run around in a, a co-op group of four guys, shoot bad guys, and collect fat loot. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to break it in tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, I'll be there with you. I got a beta code. I still haven't purchased the game because uh, I want to try this beta first. See mm -hmm. if it's something that I'll like. 
Um, I How long is the beta? Do you guys know? It's just this weekend, I think. Yeah, it's still three days. Uh, if you're curious, you can get a, a key yourself on cdkeysherecom for about a dollar. Nvidia was giving them away too. Nvidia was I don't giving know if away for free too. Still doing it, but they, a lot of people got them that way. Um, but uh, it looks fun. Everything I've seen looks pretty good. I can't wait to customize my guy out. I like that uh, for the specific. Um, I guess talent paths that you want to go, mm -hmm. you have to complete quests from that talent path to get yeah. better at it. So you if you want to be a medic, up. yeah, if you want to be a medic, you got to go do the medic uh, missions, you know. And you know how that manifests, right? When you level it up, it actually you're not actually leveling yourself up, although you do have levels to get those skills. You're actually leveling up your base of operations, which will dynamically change and grow in front of you as you unlock those abilities. Sweet. So, like your base will have a clinic once you rescue enough doctors and get the right equipment and complete that mission so you can become a medic in the field. And by the way, you can dynamically change your skills in the field too. So if you're in a four-man group and you join some guys and they already have a tank, swap out the bag, boom, now you're a tactician or you're some kind of point man instead. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's pretty sweet. It. We'll see, uh, see if it's any good this weekend. We'll let you guys know next week. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you a very honest review of my time played in the division this weekend. And I will do as well because I think we get different things <laughs> out of some games, but I am cautious. You have I may be over exuberant, but you have tempered me a little bit from the last time I may have unintentionally dragged us into a game. Yeah. So I have one <laughs> finger on the refund button should this go awry. Good. Good. Yeah. Just uh don't get caught up in the hype machine. That's what hype. they want. Hype. Don't be a sheep. Come on, sheeple. Wake up. Sheeple. Come on, sheeple. <laughs> sheeple. Uh, Arise, sheeple. All right. What do you guys think? Should we do some voicemails? Yes. Let's do it. Okay. We have a new voicemail. <laughs> you want to listen to the voicemail. Um, we actually don't have that many. We still have a lot, but not as many as previous weeks where we had like, you know, 14 or something. Good. Um, yeah. We're getting to the point. No fucking around on these. Yeah, no fucking around. Yeah, to you. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Guido. Wait, me? Why me? Yeah, yeah, yeah why are you picking him out? Yeah. Because he always derails us into some other so, shit. Wait, yeah, we so derail him? Around. He's always fucking around. I'm not fucking, fucking around. around. You're right fucking now. around. He's fucking around right now. Ah, oh, hey, fuck off. Hey, how about we all stop fucking around? <laughs> Jesus. Can we, all, can yeah, we just start fucking? Sluts. Yeah, can we just... <laughs> fuck. Oh. Yeah, oh yeah. Mouth fight? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mouth fight? Yeah. Did someone say mouth fight? Mouth fight! 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 <laughs> I grew, I grew my beard out just for that mouth fight. This, so now mm. I can go shave it. This I know I can tell. Oh God, that was hot. Yeah, yeah. jeez, I'm gonna use that later. All right, <laughs> uh, first voice moil. Here it is. Hey guys, um, so because we're doing this uh, every two weeks, I feel like I am entitled to two questions, and I've thought long... Mm, you're not entitled to anything. No, I don't think so. Are we still entitled to vetoes? <laughs> <laughs> can, yeah, can we, can we still... No, have no passes, vetoes? sorry. Oh, no passes. Uh, maybe if we unanimously agree that we can pass okay. something after it's over. Alright. All right, here it is. It's hard on these two questions, and, and the first one is for all of you, and the second one is just for Gweet. Um, first one, you're on episode... 146, I want to believe. Correct. Um, Good job. I want all of you. I, I don't. I mean, I'm not forcing you to do this. I think it would just be interesting. Uh, Where is this going? If all of you could say at the on the count of three, one, two, three, how three. many more? How many? What's the, what's going to be the final episode number? Like, oh. you know, if, oh, like four, 500 <laughs> or 550 or something like that. If it's not in, okay. if it's not in four digits, I'll be pretty upset. But okay. I'm just wanna I just wanna know how important you guys are. <laughs> a thousand well, weeks. Yeah, I think a thousand is a good one. Should we do that one? Should we do that one? Okay. Yeah. Alright, yeah. right. countdown. I'll, I'll count it down, yeah. Ready? 
Three, two, one. One hundred and forty-seven. <laughs> but <laughs> we all went for the same joke. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, good that's how we do it. I, I went for butts. That's true. You did go for butts. <laughs> yeah. It's good to go for butts. for butts. I like going for butts. It's always good going for butts. Now let's do it for real. All right. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Ten thousand seven hundred and sixty-eight. Are you serious? <laughs> I think we'll be dead. Yeah, but. we'd be dead. <laughs> Wait, well, how, how many? What year would a thousand episodes be? A thousand? Uh, yeah. It's a ballpark. It's fifty-two. It's fifty-two a year. Twenty-ish years. So if it, episode a thousand, if we kept yeah. going at it, I would be fifty. Something. Twenty. There's no way that we're going to be doing this for twenty years. Says you. <laughs> Not with that attitude. Yeah, I don't think I'll be a fifty. Yeah. Fifty-two-year-old man. Uh, as, opposed gaming to podcast. as opposed to what? Where, where's the <laughs> yeah, I guess I got here? nothing else. You're not going to be a 52 year old man. You're just going to die at 51. <laughs> yeah, he's so. just, yeah, like uh, the day before his 52nd birthday. Just not, yeah, just dead. death. I thought just he was going to have a, a sex change, maybe. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. We maybe. don't call him Pat anymore. Pat's dead. No, we still Patricia. call him Pat. Call it's Patricia Pat. now. Yeah, Patricia. Don't, yeah. Yeah, don't dead name her, okay? <laughs> yeah. Him, her. Uh, okay. It, Next, <laughs> uh, next, or wait, he's got another question. Let's hear. Oh yeah, Tito, um, based on previous recommendations, who is your favorite? One, Ho Ho the Elf, or two, Gino the Intern. All righty, thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Um, I like Ho Ho better. Gino's really good, but Ho Ho's better. I got a comedy crush on Lauren Lapkus, so I think all her characters are the best. That's it. <laughs> no, she uh, does her own podcast, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, she does. Yeah, where she's the guest all the time, and the other person hosts, and the guest hosts. Is that true? I've never actually listened. I to think it. I think that's what her podcast is. Is she is the guest, and the guest is the host every time, and she plays a character. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that question was. Uh, those are two characters in the. Comedy Bang Bang podcast, which I highly suggest. Comedy Bang Bang. Shout out to that that podcast that gets hundreds of thousands of listens a uh, week. <laughs> yeah, they need Just our the poll content. From. They need our support. <laughs> Did you see that weird Al's taking over on the show for the uh, the DJ? Oh, on the show. Taking over for oh, her, uh, Kid Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like going on tour or something. So weird Al's oh. taking over. Oh, nice. Very good. That'd be fun. Next voicemail. Oh. <laughs> uh, next we have 14. Yeah. No, we don't. We don't have 14. Oh. We have eight left. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Still eight. Yeah, hi, Marianne. Uh, it's Sean Green with Bayshore Youth Lacrosse. But just, give, just give me a quick call. Will you get a second if you can? Please give me a call back. You can reach me at 631 uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> What? <laughs> Holy did shit. you stop that? Uh, yeah, I did. Here, You're good. The, uh, is that for us? Is anyone named? No, that definitely Marianne is not here? for us. <laughs> Are you sure? Marion. Marion. Yeah, Marion. 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 Okay. Sorry, but thanks. Okay. See All right, ya, thank Marianne. you. Thanks. Flush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got his that number That improv's paid off. No, let's not. Yeah, hi, Mary. No, I, you uh, want let's me to not. call him? No, can we? No. Sp- no, call him. Call him <laughs> call, back. See call, what he wants. Call him. Call him. Call. Oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. It's going to take me a second to get his number. Well, then play the next voicemail. Oh, Play the next voicemail. Okay, oh. I'll play the next voicemail. Yeah. It's, it's got to be a play. Someone's fucking with us, right? Although I did look, because I looked at this. That person does exist, and Bayshore Lacrosse does exist, and he is part of it. Oh. So yeah, this I don't, is I don't think this is a oh. prank call. Yeah. I think this is a wrong number. This has to be a prank call. It has no, it to has be. to be a wrong number. I don't know. How is that a prank call? 
It's, yeah, like a lacrosse it's company just calls us. Yeah, yeah but Bayshore Youth Lacrosse and in Bayshore, New York. And information if it was, yeah, like, no, He specifically so. left his phone number so that we'd call him back on air, is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Because we just Martha. did that <laughs> the last week, or like three, three weeks ago. Who did three weeks ago? That when we called that lady that got the wrong number. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. In the oh, interest, no. in the interest of you doing this. Wait, what's the number? No, no, no. In the interest of you doing this, I was the drug deal and I was the lady. I don't but not the lady. Saying. No, the prank calls you've been oh, getting. The drug deal, yeah. That was all of it. That was all of it. I, all of it. I was going like, back... what is this, a fucking thing of Scooby-Doo? Like, you're the fucking Loch Ness Monster <laughs> no. with all going, the masks going back, oh, like, going back Wally. to, like, all of the prank calls you've gotten to this point, those were me. Wait, you right, were the so lady? You're, you're, yeah. yeah. I was everything, yes. Oh. So, so, yeah, is this, this is you? like an episode of Scooby-Doo. But no, that's why I'm telling you, so you fucking do something about it. <laughs> it's Scooby-Doo. Um, all right, I guess we got to call him here. Wait, it's, it's 613, or 631, right? Uh, Ali will Area talk. code? Yeah, 613, I think. No, 631. Oh. Okay. It's got to be. Because that's like their contact number starts with 631. Okay, here we go. I got it. Anyways. All okay, right. Let me dial it. We'll just dial We're bringing it to you guys live yeah, here. Live, live for everybody. This is here. definitely a We're gaming doing it podcast. Live. You guys <laughs> will be able to hear it, but you won't be able to respond to him. It's just going to be me. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I don't want to respond. I just want, I, I want to be the peanut gallery, basically. Right. Just, yeah. <laughs> All right. You the peanut gallery? What? What? Me? No, 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 no. All right. I just type this number in here. It's a late call for the East Coast. It is. Um, and it's it office number. You're just going to get a voicemail. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. If, someone if, picks up, if someone picks up, it's a bit. It's a bit gotta be no no i don't think i don't know how this could be this is all come, legit. come to find out this is like a 50 year old woman that he's trying to contact because like she needs to get healthy so she's right. doing sports ball okay here it's goes. a youth youth lacrosse we'll give team. it a shot here oh what's his name sean okay sean yep. it's the kid it's the kid it's, it's the mom that's we're calling him mom yeah oh, oh he didn't shit. say what the kid's name was Shit, he didn't say what the kid's name was, so we can't, like, do it. <laughs> I mean, if this is, like, a youth lacrosse place, it's not going to be open yeah. at 10 o'clock at night. Hi, you reach the casino home, leave a message, and we'll get back to you. Bye. Oh, the casino home. See, it's Vinny. Oh, Vinny. Shit. That somebody's, like, legit no, it's, it's Vinny. House. Vinny, cause whatever his name is. Uh, Vinny. Oh, uh, it's really? Vinny. Fucking Vinny. Lame. You wasted our time. You could have at least picked the fucking phone up and gone yeah, through with the bit. He got us good. That's a good bit. That's no, a good I knew bit. this was yeah, a bit no. the whole time. He didn't That's pick the phone bit. up because you called his goddamn house and lived with his family. <laughs> 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 fucking Vinny. <laughs> My parents are sleeping, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> now I got Vinny's phone number. All right. So let's play this again yeah. and we'll leave uh, Vinny's voice phone number all uh, uncensored. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Everybody can, actually, I'll just type it into chat and tweet it out. All right. Yeah, let's tweet it out. Tweet it out. I'll my cell phone, yeah. you fuckers, he says. I'll, I'll, put, it, I'll put it on uh, the, my next guide, actually. Yeah. Perfect. I, I mean, he was the one that left the number, right? Yeah. 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 From, yeah. yeah. He left the number. Yeah, you could have just, you know, left your phone number for, yeah. your, for your cell phone. <laughs> Fuck. Well, this is a goddamn waste of time. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of profitable. You do have his number now. Yeah, yeah. I do. Call oh, that was pretty good. Oh, I got his home number too. Yeah, it's, that's his, oh, yeah. his parents' yeah. number. His so when Vinny's stuff. acting up, we'll just <laughs> call his mom. Yeah. <laughs> um, can you control your son, please? Uh, this is uh Vinny's mom. Uh, Vinny is having the, uh, uh, some Bayshore trouble on the, uh, on the internet right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, your son is uh, causing some trouble right now on the internet. Uh, we need you to go check in this room wow, right now do for good, drugs. Uh, you do a good, oh. like, serious person voice. Like, yeah. Thank you. Sounded like the police, too. Yeah, Thank you. Cool. The cyber police, your son down <laughs> goof! <laughs> <laughs> I love the twang, too. He is a cyber bully! <laughs> yeah, because, like, some hick in the middle of nowhere is where, <laughs> is where somebody's going to be. I am the internet! Alright, next voice, right, Moyle. Next voice, Moyle. Thanks, uh, Vinny. You fuck. Here it is. Hey, it's Bobby. I'm guessing I just 
completely missed something, but um, what what the heck was that 10 more minutes thing? Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Pay attention. I mean, I'll just explain it straight. <laughs> you know how people say, and scene, when a scene is over? You know, mm -hmm. usually... Yeah, like, we don't, like, whenever something. somebody's acting, they usually right. end the scene. Yeah, they say, and scene, the director says it when the scene is right. over. Uh, when, when we were making the joke that when you thought our improv little skit was supposed to end, we said, and ten more ten minutes. Ten more minutes. That's it. That's the joke, Bubby. Yep. And <laughs> I'm glad I de deconstructed it for you. Uh, I like this. Joke and it's no longer it funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, explaining it does tend to kill it. Right. Joke Yeah, form. basically. Um, okay, next voice, Moyle. Moyle. Hey, y'all. Firstly, uh, I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings with my Witcher 3 phone call, but God! Sorry. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, y'all are very. So wait, that's going back. Like, what? Last, yeah, two <laughs> weeks ago he called in because we said that Witcher Three wasn't on our any of our lists for best game of the year, and he said we shouldn't be a video game podcast since none of us had played Witcher Three. Garbage. You're all yeah. garbage. So that then he called and bitched about it, and now he's apologizing. Gotcha. Got it. Thanks for the context. Very, very forthcoming, and I appreciate that. Understand the giant stake. But, uh, by the way, uh, my name's Force Forage. That's my gamer tag on League of Legends, so you can play with me. I'm, I don't have any friends, really. Um, no. Here's my question. I'm sorry I didn't leave. <laughs> I them. wonder why. Do you berate them on the games that they like or don't like? Yeah, fuck you, you asshole. Played? You fucking you piece of like shit. You sound like me in games. I'll see Pass. you in hell. Pass. Yeah, I like that he, em yeah, I like that he emphasizes on stuff, too. He's just like, <laughs> and you guys are a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> question before also anyway uh when i'm not listening to podcasts like y'all's uh i listen to sports radio a lot and it seems like sports esports are continually getting bigger and bigger and i was just wondering like when when sports radio casters have to start covering it they have no basis of understanding because they're all a lot older and probably aren't into the game <laughs> what kind of resources would you point them towards in order to better understand the game, other than not playing it, because maybe a lot of these guys are probably not gamers, per se. So, I uh, hope you didn't cut me short. I was thinking that <laughs> the reason I call it voice moil, because you probably cut the tip of my penis off or something. I don't know. Yep. What? Right, sure what do. is happening? Love y'all. <laughs> what, is, what is happening right well, now? Well, Moyle is someone off. that circumcises what is this? Jewish <laughs> A Jewish uh, rabbi that circumcises uh, young children. Right. So right. Is. Yeah, I, so, I understand that. But so like, Guido's the voice moilist because he cuts short the voicemails. Got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. And that's and that's the I'm right gonna, reaction to have to that comment. Yeah. <laughs> so there's this whole bit of floor right here that I'm ready to just like fall over on top of because I just can't deal with whatever is happening right now. So if I just magically just go, disappear, you know why? <laughs> yeah, you'll see me because it'll be right there. Um, but some old fogey needs to know about uh, uh, video. Games what ESPN needs? Yeah, they just need to play the fucking game or replace these old fucks with people that know what they're talking about for that segment. That's it. Yeah, they like, just they're really not going to take the time. ESPN. Probably yeah. just listen right. to our podcast. That'll fill everything. Yeah, or just pull one of us on to ESPN, and I'll I'll take care of the esports. And that's just straight. Yeah, sure. No, just, bring, just get Dash. He's so handsome. Just, yeah, well, Dash has his own, you know, him. network yeah, to just, run. Just, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'll pay him more. <laughs> like, not only does he have his own network, he also has his own show that comes out once every other week, too. So, I think all the big uh, sports networks are starting to catch on and hire people that know things about esports. Like yeah, ESPN so I should apply as an esports analyst for ESPN. For do ESPN, it. yeah, do, do it, it. do right. it. Let me go do on ESPN.com no right now. Do no balls, no balls. So I don't need to be no balls for <laughs> do that. No balls. <laughs> all right, next voice, Moyle. Here it is. Uh, let's do this one. Hey, just okay, gamers. It's Giffy Paul. I wanted to apologize. For my last voicemail, I know that Guido pre-screened it, and uh, it was really shitty then, and it was still really shitty when they played it 
on the show, and you're probably right to pass it. Uh, well, you're pulling a <laughs> gambit here. <laughs> Wait, what? Is, all right, can I get some um, context with this one? Uh, uh, we vetoed them when they yeah. just are boring because we don't want to finish listening to he them because like it a, takes too long. A two-minute drunken voice, my mail, so. So this time I have, like, a real question, and I'm not going to ramble on for, like, two minutes. And my real question is, Guido, I know you are a, a vape guy. You, you like oh, vape. Okay. What is your... Can we all pass? No. What's your favorite vape? What's your favorite vape? What's your favorite, what's your favorite what's, vape? Yeah. I've said this multiple times, I think. I don't know. What's your I like setup, vanilla, you know? vanilla flavors. I like vanilla. Yeah, he's a, he's a sweet setup? person. He's a bakey boy. No, Thanks. I think that's the, that's the, yeah, that's the last word I would use to describe Guido. <laughs> no, oh, I'm like, still he's, sweet. N- no, me. you're definitely not sweet. <laughs> and... <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> thank, thank you, guys. Thank um, you. All right, next voice, Moel. Here it is. Hey, it's Just Okay Podcast. Right now, the question's for Millpool today. It might take some time to get adjusted to the stars and stripes. What's your favorite part about America and what's not all right? Favorite part about America and what's not all right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Being able to say fuck on a just podcast. Just for no pool, nasty. Shut up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Favorite part about America is um, all the freedom, definitely. Definitely There's feel really free here. There's a lot of freedom fries, yeah, I agree. And <laughs> what's not all right? Uh, what is not all right here? Hmm? Um, miles per hour? No, everything's pretty good. You don't yeah, like miles I mean, per I, hour? I can get adjusted to that. Like oh. uh, Sonic's buddy, miles per hour? Yeah. No, <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> Sonic the fast food place. So, oh, yeah. Oh, good food. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, everything oh, is yeah. fun in America. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're already oh, yeah. speaking like us Wisconsinites. <laughs> oh, yeah. For Pete's sake, eh? You guys are gross. <laughs> what? Where's your cheese hat, Gweeds? I don't have a cheese hat. How, you, why do you not have a cheese think? hat? What do you think? They just stuff them in our arms when we pop out of our mom's vaginas? Yes. I mean, yes, <laughs> and then, they, and then they, you, you turn them in as your head grows uh-huh, and you and get another one. You know how they like Packers slap your ass? Like when you when you first come out, they slap your ass. Instead, they just stick a fucking cheese block on your head and you're mm. like, well, here you go. Yeah, yeah that's so where, so where is it? Yeah, so where is it? Uh, it's still in my mother's vagina. <laughs> oh, why'd you leave it there? <laughs> I forgot. Purple Haze is probably feeling a little bit of discomfort right now. <laughs> Her whole life. <laughs> Um, all right, next. The past 32 years. Next voice, Moyle. Uh, this one I have labeled as the lacrosse prank. So I must have mislabeled it. Let's see what this one is. Hey, guys. It's Pyro. As yep. we learned on Tuesday, I'm not very good at puzzlers. So my question for you this week is, what's your favorite puzzle game? I think mine would probably be Portal 2. All right. Mm. Have a good one. Portal 2 is a good one. Portal 2 is uh, my Fez. favorite. Actually, Braid was really good, but Portal 2 is my favorite. I'm going with Fez. Yeah. Missed. Portal 2. Yeah. Portal nope. 2 is just uh, so fun. I spent a lot of time playing Picross 3D on the DS. That's a good game. What's it called? Picross. P I C R O S S. They have a they have a Pokemon one too that they just released not too long ago. Mm. For free. Actually, I played a little bit of uh, is it Pick a Man? Is it the matching one? Pick a Man yeah, on the Wii U. No, Pikmin. Wait, what? Pikmin. Wait, which one? Pikmin. Pikmin. Yeah, Pikmin. Yeah. yeah. What are you saying? That's a, that's a GameCube man? game. Pikmin. Pikmin. <laughs> Pikmin. Pick a man. Pick a man. Pick them all in. Uh, yeah, that game was fun. That would be considered a puzzle game, right? I mean, yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. No, it is. It is. It. I. I. Um, Real time strategy. RTS. RTS. Maybe? RTS. No. 
<laughs> You're just naming a different genre. Yeah. Of game. Uh, no, I know that. No, I was thinking like what Pikmin would be, because I mean, I guess it is a puzzle uh, game, but you also do have to control your little Pikmin unit, so it can be considered an RTS. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, all right. Yeah, Portal I can see is the that. best. You're all wrong. Portal Two is the best, though. Yeah, Portal Two is just the best until, puzzle game. You're wrong. Until you finish the witness. Whatever, dude. I'm not gonna pay forty dollars for the witness. <laughs> Suck a fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. Marvel. I was talking to Rita. Doesn't matter. <laughs> She's right. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> fuck. All right. Yeah. Next voice, Moyle. Here it is. Hey, you're okay, gamers. It's uh, Domo Avocado here. Uh, love your show. Love your podcast. Um, uh, so. Um, I've been having a lot of talks lately with my girlfriend about uh, conspiracy theories. I'm listening to the podcast Expandive Perspective. Great thing, by the way. Hook it up. Um, anyway, my question for the day is, actually, in that case, what is your favorite conspiracy theory? Um, talk a little bit about them. Argue. Would be lovely. All right. Keep it up, guys. Keep it real. Me and my girlfriend love you. Peace. Stay safe. Keep warm. Love Trying. and have sex. I don't know. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> what? That was the most awkward ending, I think, <laughs> that we've ever had. Well, that, that's Snowy's brother, so. Uh, yeah, have sex. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Swedish. Come on. Yeah. Um, conspiracy. I think the most relevant one right now would be the, the world is flat. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. That one's real. That, that one's, that like, one's real though. right now. Real. Yeah. It's fucking real. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess favorite conspiracy theory would have to be one that you kind of could give a little bit of credence to, right? A little mm -hmm. bit like, of respect. Cre and my you my credence yeah, yeah, you give him a copy of mm -hmm. uh, Downtown Ramblin' Man. Yep. <laughs> downtown Brown. Yeah, Downtown Brown. With, you give him a copy with, of that. With, no, with the Downtown Ramblin' Man. Yeah. So he can smoke and, and uh, listen. Downtown Julie Brown, the MTV yeah. DJ from the late 90s. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. They can all get together and come as a complete package, so you can smoke some weed, and listen to some music, and what hang out with a lovely lady. Right now? This I don't know. Yeah, what's happening right now? Uh, conspiracy cast. Conspiracy <laughs> theories. Uh, it's just like Tupac and fucking Elvis Presley are chilling on an island right now. Just yeah, I could. Whatever. I could get behind the Tupac. I the, yeah, I can get behind the Tupac hanging out on an island because he was tired of bullshit. You know, I guess that's a conspiracy theory in itself. Yeah, I can see that. Um, uh, anything JFK is pretty good. There's a, It's not so much a big government conspiracy or anything, but there's these two girls that went missing in South America, and uh, they found their phones a few weeks after they went missing, and there were pictures taken on them, uh, like nine days after they were like declared missing. Uh, so they were out there for like nine days still taking pictures of just random things. And uh, they found their bot, or they found like one of their feet in a shoe, and Ooh. their backpack. Yeah, they, they knew that they were dead, but they were still like out there taking these really weird pictures of uh, things. A lot of people thought that they were using the flash to kind of light their way, because a lot of them were just black pictures. A lot of people thought it was something more, a lot more malicious, you know, like someone huh. had uh, kidnapped them and murdered them and stuff like that. But uh, that's a really, I wish I could think of uh, what they call the conspiracy theory, but I can't off the top of my head. So just search for two girls, go one cup. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll get you there. That'll get you there. Yeah. Just that's my that. favorite conspiracy. Uh -huh. uh. It starts out really sexy, and then it just gets disgusting. I mean, if you just want to, if you want any good conspiracy, just go to anything like on 4chan. Holy ancient, shit. Yeah. ancient alien theory. Okay, I I definitely could get behind that too. It's my favorite. The whole Egyptian building the pyramids thing. <laughs> Basically anything that aliens. Was, anything yeah. built of consequence in antiquity was apparently alien inspired. Yeah, they mm -hmm. they had to have had really big, advanced, sophisticated machinery to cut cubes of stone like that, Wally. Okay. <laughs> I just don't like how it treats our ancestors like complete batshit morons. Right. How could they have possibly have built this? They were dumb in the past. <laughs> <laughs> it was a civilization of mongoloids just <laughs> crawling around on their four hands and feet. 
four hands? I thought you were going to say forehead. <laughs> they're, they're, oh, giant they're, like, foreskins. they're giant foreskins. They're giant Mongol foreheads. I was like, how does one walk on their forehead? <laughs> they're just I was like, is this a Wisconsin thing? They yes, furrow their brow and scoot around like inchworms on their foreheads. <laughs> Jesus. All right, uh, next voice, Moyle. Here you go. Hey, this is Bombhead. Love you, love your show. What's your favorite video game soundtrack or song? I know my favorite is... <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <sighs> Welcome to Bombhead, Sheena. Mm -hmm. yep, Got it. Every week. Every week. <laughs> Welcome For 140 you. plus, he's been doing that. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Every amazing. Yeah. And I, the grunts get longer as like does, they've been going. Does anybody in chat have access to that video that somebody made of like a composition uh, of like half of his grunts? It's on oh, our it's somewhere. It's somewhere. It goes yeah. on for like ten minutes. It's, it's fabulous. Like Fifty oh, episodes of just bomb hab grunting. <laughs> um, that's so good. Favorite video game soundtrack. Uh, I like the uh, Hotline Miami. Yeah, mm. those games one. soundtracks were very good. Donkey Kong Country. Ooh, good one. Oh, um, shoot, what's the game? Uh, there's that video too. Um, Dust Force has a really good soundtrack. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I know it's. I uh, actually bought the soundtrack. It's uh. Almost sacrilege to say, but I turn music off in video games for the most part. Wow. Yeah. For me, it was um, Transistor recently. Huh. Okay. Undertale um, has a really good soundtrack, too. Undertale does yeah. have a good soundtrack. I like all the remixes that people make. I like, Yeah, I like the, the remixes and the mashups that people do, like Gwen Stefani and the Muffet, the Muffet song is really awesome. Yeah. I'll have to link it later. It's great. Yeah. Well, oh, show. Well, that's it for voice moils. We got through it. Oh, holy shit. We're almost done, Sheena. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang in there. Promise. Hooray! <laughs> Promise. Um, if it wasn't for the 45 minutes of technical difficulties. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, the next one. Or no, we're doing Listener of the Week now. Yeah, Listener of the Week. All right, Listener of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listener of the week now, he's going to be real sweet now. <laughs> it's listener of the week. Yeah. This week's listener of the week is hot grill with six packs. Six packs of what? Um, I don't know. Is it with several, like a bunch of six packs or with six packs? Yeah. I'm thinking like six packs. Like backpacks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pack no, packs. six packs. Like, like oh, Penny oh. Arcade Expo. He's been to six yeah, of them. Yeah, six uh, packs. Yes. No, well, it's, it's a hot it's two grill. Pack. It's two yeah, pack. Yeah, hot grill. So There's a guy who has an actively so, burning grill going to packs. Right. Yep. Okay. Six, yeah. Okay. Six burning grills outside of packs. All right. I think we figured it out. Okay. okay. Perfect. Good. Glad we figured that one. Um... <laughs> She gave us a five stars on iTunes. Why is it a she? Because it's a hot grill. I guess oh. it could be. <laughs> <laughs> what, you're debating this like, now after, I, like, I, fucking I, destroying I, me last week? I we were gender really that important. <laughs> no one's I debating I hate that I found it. that funny. <laughs> you're not debating, you're just discussing it. Uh, I didn't bring it up. Uh, yeah, five stars on iTunes. The she titles her review W zero W eight P zero D C at sign lowercase s capital T. Thank you for breaking that down. Mm -hmm. I can't read that. <laughs> it's a bunch of symbols and numbers and letters. Fucking leet oh, speak is too hard it's for yeah, yeah, learn, yeah, yeah, learn to speak in robot fool. Oh, okay. Wow, <laughs> great oh. podcast. Uh, she says that this, oh, here. This, this is going really rough. Yeah, it is. Let's start over. <laughs> You're listening <laughs> to Justin. <Jessica. laughs> or this week. Um, no, uh, her review is as follows. This podcast is superb. The very informative league talk. 
which helped me go from diamond five all the way to bronze one. That's backwards. <laughs> and the playful banter in silly games makes this podcast a hoot. Not only does this podcast make for a quick day at work, I have also gained quite a bit of self-confidence just from not being nasty. Would listen again. Thanks, Hot Grill with Six Packs. You are our listener of the week. <laughs> Yo, listener of the week now. He's going to be real sweet now. <laughs> It's Listener of the Week. Yeah. You can be Listener of the Week by leaving a review on iTunes. A nice review would be nice. If you're from a different country other than the great uh, United States of America, you want to send us an email, tell us that you left a review, and we will make you Listener of the Week. I saw there's uh, there's one that on there from Australia or something. I was kind of perusing. So we'll get to you guys, but... You really got to let us know. We don't check that often. Come on. Right. Um, but that's that's all she wrote. Sheena, do you have any plugs that you want to give out? Yeah. No. Really? None? No, I do. Yeah, no, I do. <laughs> Fucking follow me on Twitter, guys, because I, I tweet pictures of my, my really dumbass dog awesome. and really stupid jokes. Which you can find me on Twitter at Psychobilly2422, which the name is on the title of the stream. Uh, mm-hmm. Also, please check out my game, Spooky Sauce Jump Scares, or just watch somebody play it. Either way, just go pay attention to it, because it's actually kind of dope, and I'm not biased, I swear. It's I super swear. dirty dope. It's kind of dope. Like, it's a fun just game. Just love me. Like, just people. I just want you all to love me, that's all. Don't just love all. me. Don't <laughs> yeah. Don't we all just need to be loved sometimes? Right, um... Uh, one last plug. Uh, I I actually do streams. I stream video game stuff, which you can Sweet. also find me at twitch.tv slash psychobilly2422. You see the consistency here, guys. It's pretty yeah. great. I like That's consistency. All. Yes. That's it. Very good. Very nice. Yeah, go check out her uh, Twitter and all that. Follow her. Let's give her a little uh, Just Okay bump. Some love. <laughs> oh. Oh, give it to me. All all over me. Yeah. yeah just a little I mean, just I okay mean, bump. thank you. Yeah, just, just a little one. Just a little one. Just for give a second. Give me an okay bump. Just, just see how it feels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, that's uh, pretty much it. That's all she wrote. Nasty, you got some plugs for us? Yeah, if you guys want to find us on social media, go to justokgamers.com. Top right has all that stuff. Uh, be sure to hit us up on our subreddit, slash r slash justokgamers. Check out the Patreon page if you guys like it. Uh, help support it. Um, and that's about it. Oh, hit up Discord, too. We're in Discord. All that stuff's on the website. So just go to our website. Yeah, go to our website. It's discord.justokgamers.com. Just type that into your web browser. Join our Discord. Uh, we got a lot of people in there chatting. Um, Throughout the yeah. day. Yeah, oh, a good group going, yeah. Yeah, we got a good group of people. And I didn't know you guys had a Discord. We no? do. Yeah, join it. Well, now I know. <laughs> well, what's, what's the address then, if you know so well? Uh, ah, two seconds her. to pull up the web page. Give me two seconds. I just Hang said on. it. Hang on. I just said it. Hey, I don't pay attention. When do I pay attention to things that you say, That's weeds? That's right. That's very, very true. The only one I pay attention to is Nasty, and I barely pay attention to him. So, <laughs> yeah. shit. shit. Nobody Wait ever a really second. Pays Why are you here? Because <laughs> Nasty invited me. Oh, okay. uh, God, thanks, Nasty. It's na- yeah, put it all on Nasty. It's Way his fault. He, he messages me yesterday and he's like, I'm sorry, this is like really last minute. Can you, can you be on our podcast? And I was oh. like, uh, yeah. yeah. It was last minute. I'm sorry. It was super last minute. I'm, I'm only good for last minute invites, apparently. <laughs> no. When you guys, you, when you guys are so desperate it. for a guest, you're no, like, oh, I guess we'll get that bitch on there. <laughs> well, yeah, it'll be fine. Dashes was like two hours when we had him on. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, but that's all she wrote. We're done here. Everybody go check out uh, Spooky's really crazy house of fun stuff. <laughs> I'm done! I'm done! That's it! I'm out! Wow. I'm out! She's done. And uh, go look at our website and get get on our Patreon. What are you doing? Come on. 
Yeah. Give us money. Yeah, give us money. You watching this, you have fun, you laugh, give us money. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Like, no. If you like the podcast, that's perfect. I'm glad that you like the podcast, but I'm going into Why my Bernie Sanders here. Uh, no, this I is my Bernie be Sanders. A huge convention. Look, uh, everybody's going to like the podcast or they're if not going to like the podcast. So if you I'm do, if you like it a lot, a you contribute it to me. If you you give me some mensch, money here, okay? Donations. And then we'll go on, we'll do the podcast for you the people that don't want to kind of don't want to give us the money. That's Just fine. Sit down with us, tell you all some money, have some dinner, some whitefish, be beautiful. Um, okay, that's it. <laughs> Uh, bye, everybody. Bye. 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 bye.